How many years has it really been this large? I think it gets a little big over the years, but this has been like about five, six years. So the first, the first year I went to my, my family doctor. Yes. And he kind of cut it. With but what? I used like a like a razor, like a razor, a razor blade, like. Yes. And he cut it, trim it off, but then it didn't really heal. It and healed on the. You have the skin, but on the inside of the skin, you can always feel the pain. Gotcha. And then after that, you never really. I never go back. Okay. <laughs> you have the pain. So, like I was telling you, sir, is the the callus, the hard skin, is a result of the pressure on the tip of the toe, yeah. and it's mostly because of the curling of this toe. This is just dead skin, so I'm going to remove as much as, of this as we can. Um, but the real goal is for us to cushion the foot, yeah. protect it, put spacers or padding underneath it to see if that slows down how fast this comes back. If this keeps coming back very quickly and causing a lot of pain, then our last option would be to surgically cut the tendon so it, to straighten the toe. Because you see how I can straighten it? Yeah. That way now the pressure should be where it's supposed to be at the tip, or sorry, the bottom, the base of the toe, not the tip of the toe. So we're gonna go nice and gentle, little by little, remove some of this dead skin, okay? Yeah, okay. And if it's too sensitive, you let me know. So when you, if you have to deaden, if you have to cut the tendon, yes. then, then you deaden the toe, is it? Yes, we numb the toe. And how long would that take to heal? Within a week, week and a half, there's no opening, it's completely closed. You take it easy for that week, uh, but usually after two weeks, you're back to normal activity. Yeah, okay. You're walking around right away though. Okay. You would drive home yourself, you'd be coming here by yourself. Okay. You'd be able to do this all on your own. It's a very small procedure, think of like just a little nick. The only thing we're always worried about when we have so much hard skin buildup is getting a wound or ulcer underneath because of all the pressure. So I'm going nice and gentle. A little sensitive? And so how did your daughter find this clinic? She just went online? She went online, yes. She hasn't been here though? No. No. She oh. went online. And she trusted Don she trusted Google, huh? Yes. It said you have to four to five rating or something like that. Only a four? Jeez, I need to get better. Four to five, that means <laughs> that's like nine ninety percent. Well, that's not bad at all. If you get two or the five, then you trust. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, she's on the computer a lot. I'm not into the computer. But she's always on the computer. She knows where to find everything. And when I was to come the last, two weeks ago, I think it was, it was snowing up there, so I didn't want to. I don't tr drive when it's snowing a lot. Well, how, how long was the drive today? Uh, about two hours. Two hours to get here, huh? Yeah. Well, it would have been a lot worse. Oh, yes, if it's snowing. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, again, sir, I really appreciate you coming yes. all that way. I even canceled my eye operation, my eye appointment also because of the winter. But the road is it's only a two-lane road and it's 80 kilometers, so it's... And there's no light on the, on, the, on, the, on the road up there in the night. It's a nice place, very nice and quiet to live. But then when it ready, it's bad, you gotta stay home. Ah, oh. uh, whoever it is. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, go ahead. You can no, you... It's registered. Whoever it is, it's registered. You know, it's called him, man. Just like when I'm driving, I don't even answer the phone either. That's good. So one problem we have is the toe curling. 
Yes. The second problem that we actually have now that I've taken it down is seeing how thick and damaged this toenail is. There's a lot of hard skin underneath the toenail. Yes. And again, it's kind of related to the pressure Under, underneath. Under. Yes. So we also have a damaged thickened nail. Okay. I'm going to trim the nail back as much as I can. Yeah, okay. So we can get more of this dead skin off underneath it. But maintenance is going to be a big thing. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I think uh, what I, when I got this thing, it, I think it was a, a shoe that I was wearing that was too big and my foot was sliding in the shoe. I think that's when this started happening. So we're still working on the bottom and taking all the dead skin out first and then we'll do the nail afterwards. Yes, okay. But I don't think there's any wound or any sore. It's just literally a lot of hard skin build up, yeah. yeah. yeah when I walk in the shoes and the pressure as you said, sometimes it's like I'm limping in the way. For sure, I you are extremely tough to be. Having this for years. I'm afraid of injections. Yeah, you? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of that needle, and this is why I did so long. <laughs> <laughs> Tough guy like you was scared of a little baby needle. Uh, walking around with what you got is way more painful than the needle. That is true. You know, a couple of years ago, I had to go and take my yearly blood test. Yes. You know, you take a yearly uh, physical. Yes. It was in the winter around like this time. When I got there and I had to do the heart at the same time, I took my shirts off and the lady asked, Why are you so wet? <laughs> Just the top of the needle. <laughs> you, were, you were soaking wet, huh? You know, it's, it's funny, you know, you, you live and you do so much, so much hard work and a little needle. It is. The I was, I was, I'm a carpenter and I do all kind of carpentry. How many times you bang your nail or hit your hit your hand? Uh, maybe once or twice. Oh, not too many, right? Oh, you're good then. Oh yes, I've been doing carpentry, cabinet making all my life from since I was 16 years old. So I'm pretty good at it. But the odd time you'll hit, the odd time, not too often. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. We're getting down to the bottom. Yes, I can feel it. Yeah. See, when I would do cabinet making, the boss, when you have to put a nail in, into a piece of furniture, he would tell to put your hand close to the nail and hold the nail while you're hammering it. So that means if you, <laughs> you could hit the hand instead. So you learn from that time. <laughs> From the old school, so I learned pretty hard way, and not too much machines, and you know. That's the good. It sounds like the good way. Yes, yes, yes. It is. Uh, you work with a man that knows what he's doing. He didn't go to, to um, college at the time, so when I came to Canada, I went and I did all of that over. Where Where did you learn carpentry? I did carpentry mostly in England, and then I came from England to Canada. But I did cabinet making in Trinidad before I went to England. And so then I did um, journey, carpentry journey in England, and then I came here and went to Alberta. Wow. And I redo the Canadian experience. You know, when you come with a trade or whatever, you have to do the Canadian experience part. Mm -hmm. So I did that there. And I came to Ontario in 70 and I sit the test and so I got a gentleman certificate for Alberta and general carpentry certificate for Ontario. Wow. So I kind of fall off with the trade and because that's all I know anyway. That's all I did. Well, trades are in demand now. Yes. Because we've lost that art. Yes, that's right. The old guys are retiring and dying out. And the new ones are on the computer. 
Got to try this too hard. Well, I'm doing my carpentry skill on you right now. I'm doing my carving. Yes, but that's good. That's good. Yes, but I still do a little bit. Not too much, but I still do a little. I like to get into the arts and craft a little bit, a little piece of one of a kind type thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to do now. So with the last little bit of this bottom one, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to get it all out. I cannot believe you had this for years. Yeah. I'm a little sensitive, so we're almost done. We're almost done. It's getting to be too much pain, and I just decide something has to be done. My sister saw, saw me bending, and she asked, Why are you bending? She says, Oh, and my toe is hurting, so I have to bend a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fact you're a carpenter and you got a hammer toe, easy fix. <laughs> you just take your hammer <laughs> and you make it a straight toe. Yeah, that's right. That's all you got to do. Yes, I guess that would have been all right too. No, that's you just get a stick. You first you, you whittle a stick, yeah. a nice one, yeah, and then you bite it, right. and then uh, you fix it. Yes, that would make it. Um, so why did it bend in the first place? It's hard to know why, but most of the time it's, a lot of the time, it's actually because of footwear. If the shoe is too narrow, too tight, okay. then it can squish the toes. I think my toes have had that problem. The one that gave me your address, maybe I should have come and let, have a look at her, her feet. I think my toes is bent upward, if I'm not mistaken. Because she used to wear these shoes that were too big for her foot. So then that way you take her toe, you take a nail, and you pin it to the ground. Then you do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so there, we've gotten pretty much all of it from the bottom. And now I'm going to start working on the top part, okay? Yeah, okay. Let me just reposition the foot just a little bit, just like this. That was a lot. You'll be very much relieved to see how this is. So this is actually toenail up here that I'm going to trim back, okay? Yeah, okay. Nice and easy. You okay here? Thank you, thank you, sir. Any pain here? No. Okay, you can relax the foot again. Very good. You can relax, very good. So, what you need to do yourself, this is very important, is you need to use a rasp or a good file to keep this toenail this short. Okay, do you see how short it is? Yeah. That way there's no overhanging, there's no thickness that can put more pressure on the tip as well. Okay. So we need to keep this toenail thin all the time. Okay, I'm gonna remove the last little bit of dead skin. Yeah, it's looking much better. So I'm just gonna remove that last little bit of dead skin here. So you're going to use, like I said, a rasp or a file on the nail yeah, okay. and that way you never let this nail get thick again. Okay. And you can even use that on the top of your toe or the tip of the toe.
So I don't have to use no medication on your toes? No medication. Because this is a problem with pressure. So if we remove the pressure by us talking about all the padding that we're going to be doing, yes. um, and you do a little bit of filing to remove any hard skin buildup that does occur, you should be good for a very long time. Okay. Yeah, if it bothers me anymore, I'll just do the, do the killing of the tendon. Of the tendon. Yeah, the tendon. I hate pain. But, to be honest, if we're only seeing each other once every one to two years, then it's okay. Then it's okay. We just come in and maintain it. Yeah, okay. okay. Why don't you give it a little feel? Yeah. Yeah, you can. How about once you feel it? Can you touch the toe? Yeah. Okay, it feels a lot better than it was before. So it's still going to be sensitive, obviously, because now we've exposed this skin. Yeah. There, you know, it's been like this yeah. for many, many years. But you see how it's flat now? Yes. Okay. Much, much, much better. Let me. You can take a look here. Look what it looks like. You yeah, see that? So a lot of skin went down. A lot of skin. So what normally happens, let me put it back here. So what normally happens, if we take all the pressure away, the normal tissue will come back up. Mm -hmm. People normally come back in two to four months. We clean it up one more time, and then it should be flat. You have a little bit of a hole, or what we call a corn, mm -hmm. because of all the pressure going in. So again, if we remove that pressure, it fills up flat. Scrape it down. We do that in two to four more months, and you should be in a really good place. Okay. So I'll say within another six months, maybe I'll just come back in and just... just and we, yep, and we see from there, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to help you with some of the other nails. We'll trim a, a little bit of the thick ones down, but that corn is, is in a good place now. All right. Okay. Okay, awesome. Good.